Alchemy is the process of turning something simple or ordinary into something magical, mysterious, and amazing. And when we knit or crochet, we take a humble ball of yarn and turn it into something beautiful and majestic. And this crochet pattern by Jane Mancellis is no exception. It's aptly named Alchemy and will take you on a beautiful, transformative journey. You begin here in this corner and progress through the shawl, changing colors and creating gorgeous texture as you go. You start here with this beautiful tangerine lime combo and then it progresses into tangerine and lavender and then finally lavender and burgundy. So it appears to be three distinct colors, but really they're all a part of each other and they're all connected, just like us. So this is our limited edition artistic sport yarn and each skein actually contains two different colors twisted together. The yarn and the pattern are at expressionfiberarts.com and of course the links will be in the description. The showstopper of this shawl is this stunning border with these little cross stitches that resemble cables and they form an arrow pointing in the direction that you're going. The border also has these little raised post stitches which visually separate the border from the body of the shawl. The body of this shawl is this softly textured stitch that leads into this beautiful final border with more post stitches which almost looks like a little fringe to me. I am gonna show you the stitches you'll need to make this, but first, before you begin crocheting this shawl, I want you to take a minute and think of something that you would love to change in your life. If you want more peace in your life, then focus on that word as you crochet this shawl. Be your own alchemist and transform your mind as you stitch away. To work this magical shawl, you're gonna to need to know how to work some really fun stitches. So you're gonna to need to know how to work a foundation single crochet, a half double crochet, a front post, triple crochet and a right cross and a left cross and those are basically like cables. Up first is a foundation single crochet. I know I have shown you this before but let's practice it again. To work a foundation single crochet go ahead and chain one, chain two, and insert your hook into that first chain that you made and pull up a loop. Now yarn over and pull through to create a chain. So I just pulled through one and then yarn over pull through two to make a single crochet. So there's our first one. Now what you're gonna do to work the rest of them is turn your little piece to the side and insert your hook under both legs of that chain that you just made. Yarn over and pull through. Now create another chain with a yarn over pull through one and then create a single crochet with a yarn over pull through two. So there's your second one. I'll show you one more time. Turn to the side, insert your hook under both legs of the chain you most recently made yarn over, pull through. Now create a chain with a yarn over, pull through one, and then create a single crochet with a yarn over, pull through two. So there's three. And continue working those until you have 15. You'll find all of the other stitches beginning on row 10 of this pattern. So I'm gonna show you how to work that row so you are comfortable with all of the stitches and where to place them. For row 10, we're gonna start with a chain one, and you're gonna work three half double crochets into that very first stitch. There's one, two, and three. So all of those into the first stitch. Then you're gonna work one half double crochet into the next stitch. Then you're gonna skip this next half double crochet and you're gonna work two half double crochets into the chain space. One, and two. Now work a half double crochet two together over those next two stitches. So yarn over, insert into that next stitch and pull up a loop, yarn over, insert into the next stitch, pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through all of those loops for your half double crochet two together. Now we're gonna work our little front post treble crochets which go around these from the prior rows. So go ahead and yarn over twice, and you're gonna reach your hook around the post of this previous one and just complete your, your treble or your triple crochet. Again, and we're going into this one next time, yarn over twice and work a triple crochet around the post of this previous, previous stitch. When you have those two, you're gonna go ahead and skip the next two stitches because these stitches count as those. So we're gonna work two half double crochets into the next stitch, one, and two, and then one half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. There's one, two, three, 
two, three, and four. Now we're gonna go ahead and work our left cross. So you're gonna skip the next stitch and we're gonna half double crochet into the next stitch. Now you're gonna work in front of this half double crochet that you just made and we're gonna work a front post triple crochet around the post of the stitch two rows below your skipped stitch. So I've gone ahead and put a stitch marker just to make it easy for you to see. Here's our skipped stitch. You wanna jump down two rows below and work a triple crochet around the post of that stitch. And if it helps you to use stitch markers, you definitely can, but you don't have to, that's up to you. So this should be leaning to the left like this. This is what's gonna create that beautiful little arrow that you see on the border of the shawl. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump straight into working our right cross. So to do that one, you're gonna skip your next stitch and work a front post triple crochet around the post of the stitch two rows below the next stitch. So I've gone ahead and marked that. So skip one, that next stitch, drop two rows down and work your front post triple crochet around the post of that. So just like this. And this one is gonna be leaning to the right. So you can see how that forms a little V. So now we're gonna work behind this front post triple crochet that we just made. And we're gonna work a half double crochet into the skipped stitch. So find your skipped stitch and work a half double crochet into that. So it's going to sort of kind of sit behind that. And then we can continue on with the pattern. So we're gonna work a half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. There's one, two, three, four. Then you're gonna work two half double crochets into the next. One and two. Then work one half double crochet into the next. Then we're gonna work our front post triple crochets around these stitches. So go ahead and yarn over twice and stick your hook around the post of that stitch from the rows below where we worked those and create your front post triple crochet. And we're gonna do it again. Yarn over twice, work your triple crochet around the post of that stitch. Boop and boop. And then you finish off the row by working a half double crochet into the final stitch of that row. So you can see all, all of our beautiful little half double crochets. And then we've got our gorgeous little ridges which are defining our border and then our little crossed stitches, which are gonna start looking like little cables as we work them. So now that you know how to work those stitches, you are golden to make this shawl. We hope you love it. I hope you have an amazing week, and I will be back next week with another new pattern.